In this video, I'll explain the step-by-step -step procedure to create the two-dimensional drawing of this hook. Before creating the figure, I should set the limits. A suitable limit will be 200, 200 in the upper right corner. So I'll go to limits command and at the lower left, I'll give 0, 0 and at the upper right, I'll give 200, 200 and I'll give a zoom all to bring the limit within the screen. Next, I'll construct this rectangle on top. When you go through the dimensions, you can see that it's a 30 by 32.5 rectangle. So I'll draw a line from this point and my ortho mode is on. You can press F8 function key if the ortho is not on. Then I'll go to direct distance method to construct the lines. So I'll give 30, then 32.5 straight down, then 30 leftward, and I'll give a close. So I'll click on the close option. Next, I have to construct these two vertical lines. You know that this distance is 7 and it is in two places over here as well as over here. So I'll give an offset command and I'll give an offset distance of 7. And this is a select object to offset and you can pick a point on the desired side. Similarly, this is an object to offset and pick a point on this side. Next, I'll construct this particular rectangle. But when you look at the figure, you can see that this vertical line starts from the mid of this segmental line. But when you click over here, you can see that this whole line is a single segment. So you have to construct another line which starts from this point to this point. Okay, so that you'll be able to catch the midpoint of this line. Similarly, you can construct another line from here to here. Next, I'll continue with line command. Then I'll start a line from this midpoint straight down through a distance of 9. Then I'll just give an enter to exit the line command. Then I'll give a copy command to copy this line onto this midpoint. So copy, this is the object to copy, this is a base point and this mid is a second point. Next I can construct another line from here to here. So that rectangle is completed. Next we have to construct these two arcs. But to create these arcs, we will actually construct two circles and trim the remaining portions to make those circles into arcs. To construct circles, we have to specify these two center points. And these two center points can be located with respect to vertical axis as well as with respect to horizontal axis. So we will first construct these two axes. So I'll draw a line from this mid to this point, then another line from here to here. We will locate the center point first. And this point is at a horizontal distance of 17 units leftward with respect to the vertical axis and at a vertical distance of 86 units downward with respect to this horizontal axis. So now I'll go to the offset command and I'll give an offset distance of 17 first. Select object to offset and side to offset. Then I'll go to offset again and I'll give an offset distance of 86. Select object to offset and side to offset. Hence, we have located the center. Next, I'll draw a circle with this particular point as a center point and with the radius of 45 units. So I'll go to circle, center radius and center is this particular intersection. You have to activate intersection in OSNAP menu if the intersection is not active. Now I'll give a radius of 45. So that circle is drawn. Next, I can perform similar offset to locate the next center point. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to make use of the from point option of object snapping to locate the center. And you know that this center point is at a distance of 24 units leftward and at a distance of 82.5 units downward with respect to this particular midpoint. So you can use this midpoint as a reference point based on which this center can be located. So I'll click on circle, center radius. When I'm asked to give the center point, I'll give shift right click and I'll choose from point option from the OSNAP menu. So from point option will let you any existing point as a base point. It'll ask you for a base point. So I'll locate this particular point as a base point. Now it'll ask you for an offset. Offset is nothing but the distance from the base point. So I'll provide the offset as at the rate. At the rate means with respect to this base point. Leftward it is 24. So I'll give minus 24 and downward 82.5 so minus 82.5 because it is in the negative y direction so you have located that center 
and hence we have eliminated the offset command and the creation of construction lines. Now it will ask you for a radius which is 31.5. Okay, so we have constructed both the circles. Now we can erase these lines since these lines are no longer required. Okay, now I will erase. Next I have to create this arc. For that this arc is at a height of 56 units from this particular horizontal line. So I will construct that line first. So I'll go to line and I'll choose this quadrant as the first point and I'll pick a random point over here to complete it. Now it's just give an enter to go out. Now I'll go to offset. Now offset distance of 56. Select object to offset and side to offset. So we have got this line. Next I'll construct an arc. So I'll go to three point option to make arcs. Since the location of start point, end point and midpoint is not given, you can go for approximation. So I'll go to shift right click and I'll choose nearest because nearest option will give you a closest point. I've got that point. The second point when you're asked again shift right click and I'll choose nearest. Third point when you're asked I'll go to nearest. Okay so we have constructed it. Now we can erase this line as well as this line. Now I have to create these fillets and these fillets are having a radius of 21. So we will create construction lines first. So I'll make a line from here to here. Then one more line from here to here. Now I'll go to fillet. And I'll go to radius and I'll give a radius of 21. Now this is a first object and this is a second object. Again this is a first object and this is a second object. So we have got the arcs. Next you can just trim off the portion in between the filleted arcs as well as this arc. So I'll go to trim, give an enter, then this is the first object to be trimmed, the next object as well as this. Now we have completed the two dimensional figure of the hook. So by the time you complete it, you can practice certain basic drawing and editing commands in AutoCAD such as lines, arcs, circles, trim, offset, erase, fillet and we have also seen the powerful application of the from point option which will let you locate any desired point as a base point based on which you can locate any other point. So hope you will make a try. All the best.